Canal Days happens every year in Port Colborne, Ontario. It's a marine heritage festival that happens from August 2nd to the 5th, for this year anyways. And more than 400,000 people come from all over the Niagara Peninsula and even New York State. They have dozens of street vendors right next to the Welland Canal and many activities for kids and adults from rock climbing to kiting or enjoying a beer at the mini concerts. We experienced it for the first time last year and loved it so much we couldn't wait for this year. Everyone is in high spirits. There's craft shows, farmers markets, car shows and even fireworks. And it's all within walking distance. This tiny town transforms itself during those four days. Different tall ships come to this heritage celebration and you can even board them to have a beat. We decided to walk over to the HMCS Oriel, which was doing a Great Lakes tour. It's a sailing training vessel for the Royal Canadian Navy based out of Halifax. A beautiful 102 foot 1921 catch. She's currently the oldest commissioned vessel in the Royal Canadian Navy. It went from the East Coast to the West Coast and back, and trained cadets during the Second World War. Look at the size of this block. And the shackle. It's massive. Next on our visit of ships was the Coast Guard one. It was neat to climb aboard it to see how they're all set up. They were fully equipped and had really thick full immersion suits. Something that really fascinated me was to see that they even had a lab and often had scientists on board conducting research. I am not, I like to think that I'm the smartest guy on board. I am definitely not. I know the ship inside and out, that's why I'm the boatswain. That being said, I don't know a damn thing about science. These guys, they come on board here and they specialize in the gear. They know exactly how it works. They perform, and insist the scientists to perform their duties. They also sometimes build this equipment. The Empire Sandy was my favorite tall ship. Originally built for the war service by the British government in 1943, it now offers charters around Toronto. During canal days, there are numerous tours throughout the day and even sunset tours. You can also cruise the whole Welland Canal with her as she makes her way to and from Toronto. But beer is expensive on board, so we stuck to our tiny sailboat. What is it? It's like a Greek cheese that's fried and it's just like crispy on the outside and really chewy on the inside. It's super good. You gotta try it. It's crazy. This is the world's oldest active fireboat. It was built in the 1900s and it's just in really nice shape. They're keeping good care of it. Big hoses. Oh, look how big that engine is. Yeah. So 
it is day two at Canal Days in Port Colburn and Sugarloaf Marina is packed which is why we're walking because we don't want to lose our parking spot so might as well just leave the car and walk in town go see the fun it smells like a festival the wind is blowing from there and I just smell so many different festival smells I don't know like street food and the music and well that's not a smell but you get the idea <laughs> A really nice thing about living on our sailboat at Sugarloaf Marina is that it's only a 10 minute walk to where the center of Canal Days is. for Alex because I keep losing my earrings <laughs> over and over earrings are pen over earrings I got a pull thank you hello oh, thank you so much enjoy cheers thank you very much let's do it hey Wonderful. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 Can to play? Yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of nice stuff. You looking to fill up your closet again? You I just can hear you it. just emptied it all out. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. What this? It's kind of nice. You don't like it. <laughs> no, it's nice. I I don't know. I don't know what it would look like. <laughs> running into people that you've worked with or met or anyways it's a lot of fun and I got a hat there's a lot of vendors too compared to last year it's kind of nice there's a lot more to walk around and see and do and yeah, uh, yeah it's just a good vibe uh, canal days is always a good time now we're heading over to the LCBO and yeah. get and some groceries, groceries and some liquor and get ready for this evening Back to the marina after. Yeah. During canal days, there's free shows all over town. From along the Welland Canal to H.H. Knoll Park, which happens to be right across from the marina. If the wind's blowing towards the lake, we even get to watch and listen to the concert from our sailboat. But it's nice to be in the middle of all the action. You know you're right, you're right, you're right.
It was nice to share the sailing experience with our friends from Switzerland and Canada. None of them had ever sailed, so seeing their amazement at this experience was priceless. The sun was shining and the wind was perfect. Not too strong for someone's first time. The waves splashed our friends and one was a little sick, but they all had a blast and even got behind the steering wheel. As we were coming back, Empire Sandy was heading out for their sunset tour. Sailing right next to them was a treat, especially with our own sailboat. How did you find your experience? I really loved it. That was a great boat trip. I got a little bit soaking wet, but uh, I got to pretend to be Leonardo DiCaprio and nobody threw things at me. So I loved it. How is the ride? I'm gonna miss you guys. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Dan. <laughs> no, you're not. Come on, don't say such lies. I already miss you, man. Where are we going, Corey? We're going to get some food, man. Enjoy the rest of Canal Days. Cheers! Many of Port Colburn streets were closed during Canal Days. This makes it great for restaurants to expand their patios and even have live music. The lock has delicious pizza with thin crust and tasty flavors. A perfect spot to eat after sailing. And we even enjoyed some Irish music from the band. I've been doing some painting today. It's really beautiful though, I think. Oh, you just put your butt right in the shot. Did I? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm repainting our seat for the dinghy because it really looked terrible. So, gonna add a little bit of paint, make sure it's nice and protected, try to prevent water damage and extend its life. I am painting the anchor lid as well as the anchor locker and right behind you a piece of wood that goes in one of the lockers in the cockpit. Yes. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's like push up at boat yoga we call it, right? <laughs> it's really really hot so we're gonna go for a swim. Let's try to cool down in Lake Erie. Painting the anchor locker. It's gonna be a lot of fish. And film. Oh, um, it's gonna be good if Alex will let me eat it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna stop taking some pictures. Thank you, John and Corrine. Yeah, thanks for the fish. This is gonna be delicious. <laughs> On the last night of Canal Days, there is a light parade in the Wellen Canal. Sailboats and powerboats decorate themselves with tons of lights. Then follows a really long and amazing fireworks show. And the best of it is that you can even watch it from our sailboat, a beer in hand. What an epic four days, full of fun, sailing, food, shows and friends.